Okay, super, super, super quick drum project today. Um, I plugged in some of the microphones that I purchased the other day. Uh, Poorly prepared. Right, so there we go. These are the, the DSM-7C, the drum microphone kit. Uh, the contents of which, this one feels a bit empty. Looks a bit like that. Um, inside you have the... The drum mic goes here, uh, yeah, the drum mic, good one, the bass drum mic, and then you get uh, four sort of, uh, sort of mid-range-ish microphones that look like this, um, for toms and so forth, pretty much toms and snares, they seem to be sort of mid-frequency mid responsive. Uh, the one on the bass drum is actually on the outside of the bass drum, you can't see that very well, but it's right there. It isn't actually within the bass drum, simply because uh, for some reason uh, I don't have any I don't have any um, padding in my bass drum. There's no there's no padding in it whatsoever. I just got some uh, Aquarians on there with the uh, muting rings on them, and that seems to be fine. I, I might I may have to mute it up a little bit for. Um, for recording because otherwise you get kind of a strange kind of a kind of like a, a sound like if you get inside one of those large concrete pipes that, that they lay under under roads and so forth for for drainage uh, you get that kind of like weird sort of phasey sound um, so it, it would seem to be best with the microphone outside anyway so yeah uh, bass drum and uh, for these mid-range mics, you get two compressors. Uh, no, not compressors. God, I wish I prepared for this. Condensers. Two condensers, which I haven't set up at all. There's nothing. Um, I did use my Zoom instead. I just chucked it over here. I used it for the purposes of recording this experiment. I have two uh, two cables running into the uh, to the female jack inputs there, going from the little mixing desk that I've got. Um, and that just recorded the uh, what what came out of the microphones. For the um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I've got my bronze hammered snare, 14 by five and a half uh, Tama bronze hammered. It's just got one mic on it right here. I mounted uh, this is uh, the 10, 12. This is the 12, 12 inch tom. Sounds a bit rough, but it sounds nicer through the uh, through the microphone. Strange enough. <laughs> And uh, I, this 16-inch uh, floor tom, I think it's a 16 by 16, as far as I recall. Right, and those are the only uh, only two I mic'd, uh, the two toms I mic'd, bass drum and snare, and that's it. Um, although I must say that the microphones did did pick up uh, some other things around it. For example, the, this uh, floor tom mic picked up some of the some of the ride and some of these cymbals quite nicely as well. Um, this one over here also picked up the crashes quite well and a bit of the hi-hat uh, that probably bled, bled through the, the snare as well. Uh, but all in all, I was quite impressed just, just having those, those two, two toms mic'd, the snare on the bass drum alone with, with, with no, um, no condenser mics, nothing else, just those four mics. Because so, um, uh, I only have these four XLR cables. That's it. Running in to four channels. Um, for the, uh, I did tweak the EQs because this um, this uh, mixing disc does does have, have EQs here. So uh, of course, naturally for the floor time, I took a quite a bit of the mid range off, sort of kept the uh, or like boosted the um, the very, very low frequencies, which are 80 hertz. Uh, boosted that slightly, dropped out the the 100 hertz a bit. Completely turned off the the mid frequencies really and like cranked the the high frequencies so you get a bit of a bit of nice sort of tap. Uh, so 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 it isn't just a thud; it's more of a thud with it with a, with a bit of punch to it. Um, and the, the the 12 inch I boosted a few of the sort of the the, the mid range, kept the low frequencies just in the center. I found that the um, that the lower mid frequencies, which are at 100 hertz. I found that that I'm um, taking those those off um, made the the tom sound a lot cleaner. So if that's handy.
So no, the snare, um, quite a lot of highs on it, no lows on it really at all. Gave it quite, quite a nice crisp sound. Uh, the bass drum was mostly uh, very, very low frequency. And uh, I tried to add a very, 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 very uh, slight amount of high frequency just to give it a bit more punch. The very, very high frequency seems to give a nice punch, but that kind of mid to high frequency give, gives a real sort of a wet, horrible sound. So I recommend you take that off. But apart from that, those small um, EQ tweaks, I use nothing else. I use no gates because I don't have any. <laughs> so it's just the mics connected to that mixing desk being recorded into the Zoom. Uh, the these two um, condensers on the top of the Zoom, I I also recorded with those. So what I'll do is I will play um, uh, the audio file from you know, just just the just the microphones, then just these condensers and then a blend of the two to give you an idea of what you can achieve. Um, but of course, uh, later on I'll be putting these condensers up in the air, uh, two of them, one either side, to get all of the cymbals and uh, sort of the, the drum kit in general. I find that condensers ab above a microphone can actually achieve a very, very nice sound just on their own. So this is the first time I've actually um, mic'd up mic'd up uh, toms and you know, like properly mic'd a kit. So we're going to see how well I did. Alright, that's enough rambling. Let's check it out. 